After temperatures reached 112 degrees Fahrenheit in Spain, scientists for the first time gave a heat wave a name all in the name of protecting public health. The heat wave, named Zoe, was recorded July 24 to 27 in the city of Seville in southwestern Spain, said Jose Maria Martina Lala, an associate professor in the Department of Condensed Matter Physics at Sevilla University. The naming of Heatwave Zoe came about because of the Prometeo Sevilla project, a pilot program officially launched in June to rank heatwaves and teach the public about them. Collaborating on the initiative is the Adrian Arsht Rockefeller Foundation Resilience Center of the Atlantic Council, a Washington-based research center and non-profit organization. The group created the naming and ranking system to alert local communities and prevent the hazards of exposure to the heat during the afternoon, Martino Lala told U.S. Today. It eventually could be a model for other cities and governments. Heat waves aren't just toasty days. They're defined by the Spanish state meteorological agency, EMET, as episodes of at least three consecutive days during which a minimum of 10% of weather stations record maximum temperatures above the 95th percentile for July to August between 1971 to 2000. There is no single definition of a heat wave in the United States, but the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, uses a benchmark of at least two days when the daily minimum temperature, adjusted for humidity, is greater than the 85th percentile for July and August between 1981 and 2010. Heat waves can be dangerous, especially for vulnerable populations like older individuals and people who do manual labor outdoors. The World Health Organization calculated in 2018 that between 2000 and 2016, the number of people exposed to extreme heat each year increased by 125 million. In July, temperatures in England exceeded 104 degrees Fahrenheit 40 degrees Celsius for the first time on record. This level of heat can be deadly, particularly in regions that lack air conditioning or buildings constructed to cope with high temperatures. The United States is also experiencing periods of extreme heat as the climate changes. Today, August 15, the nonprofit First Street Foundation released a report highlighting where extreme heat is likely to become more common in future decades. Their modeling suggests that the Deep South, Southern Arizona, and Southern to Central California will experience some of the most extreme shifts. For example, Miami-Dade County in Florida will likely experience 34 days above 103 degrees Fahrenheit 39.4 degrees Celsius by 2053, compared with 7 today. While 8 million people in the United States this year will experience a heat index above 125 degrees Fahrenheit 51.6 degrees Celsius, a staggering 107 million are expected to experience those temperatures by 2053, the nonprofit found. Heat index takes into account humidity to adjust how a given air temperature feels to the human body. The higher the humidity, the warmer a given air temperature will feel. Zoe may be the first named heat wave, but it won't be the last. Authorities in Spain plan to alternate female and male names in reverse alphabetical order for future heat events. By naming heat waves, Prometeo Sevilla hopes to let the public know that they'll need to take extra care, USA Today reported. In a heat wave, the WHO advises keeping cool by opening windows at night to let cooler air in and keeping light out during the day. Special care should be taken to ensure that infants, people over the age of 60, or those with chronic health conditions, be kept cool. The team issued alerts, warnings and other messages on social media to let people know how they could protect themselves. In one tweet, the organization stressed that staying hydrated is important during high temperatures because it can prevent heat stroke. Image credit, European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasts slash CC by 4.0.